Oh, please, sit down. Thank you. You're far from home, Miss March. Do you miss your family? Oh, very much. My sisters especially. And Laurie. She is your, your sister? Oh, no. He's a friend. You like your coffee? Oh, it's just very strong. I like it. Oh, you have quite a library. Did you bring all these books from Germany? A few of them. May I? Of course. Most, most of these I, I could not bear to leave behind. I sold everything that I want to get my passage to, to come here, but, but my books, never. Mm. Shakespeare. Some books are so familiar. Reading them is like being home again. Will you be uh, returning to Berlin, Professor Baer? Friedrich. Call me Friedrich. Friedrich. No. Uh, sadly, the, the fatherland of Goethe and Schiller is no more. Oh, I adore Goethe. My father used to read me all the German poets when I was a child. Really? That is most surprising. Well, my uh, mother and father were part of a, a rather unusual circle in Concord. Do you know the word transcendentalist? But this is German romantic philosophy. We throw off all our constraints and we come to know ourselves through insight and experience. But <laughs> it goes out of fashion now. <laughs> well, not in the March family, I'm afraid. It's just that with all of this transcendence comes much emphasis on perfecting oneself. Ah, uh, this gives you a problem. <sighs> I'm hopelessly flawed. If only we could transcend ourselves without perfection. Like your poet, Walt Whitman, who, who rides up and down the streets of Broadway all day shouting poetry against the roar of the cards. Keep your silent woods on nature. Your, your quiet, quiet places, places by, by the, the river, but by the woods. woods. Give me Meet the streets, the streets of, of Manhattan. Manhattan. I think we are all hopelessly flawed. 